as we fly into the fourth quarter of this detailing season, and boy, where does time go? This year, this summer has just flown by. I want to give you guys a break. Uh, I want to have a special on uh, Blue Collar One, which is our three to five year polysilazane coating. You won't find an easier coating to use. It can be used in direct sunlight. You don't need a garage for it. The DIY to the professional can use it. So we're going to protect this C8 Corvette today. I'll give you a little demonstration of how easy it is to use and how to use it. All you need, protective gloves, the detailing foam block that I have here, which conforms to the shape of these, uh, you know, the intricate designs on these newer vehicles, especially the C8, two microfibers and the coating itself. Simply douse the applicator for the initial use and then any following loading of the applicator, just one line down the middle, just like that. And all you do is, without lifting the block, go up and back, overlapping about a half an inch, and spread the product out. If you are familiar with coatings and you're comfortable with it, you don't need to do the crisscross pattern. If you are new to coatings, you're not sure if you have even coverage, then do crisscross. So up and down, then left, right. And that will spread the product out. You notice, no matter what I'm doing here, it's not in a rush. Uh, you can start to wipe it off as soon as you have it applied. But if a customer walks in, or you get an important phone call, or you get disturbed, really doesn't matter how long, you can easily wipe it off. Wiping it off um, is easy. Just have two microfiber towels within arm's reach. I don't know if you can see here, it will give you a rainbow effect as the coating uh, starts to bond with the surface, it's time to wipe off the uh, transfer solution. And that's how we get the coating from the bottle to the surface. As soon as it hits the surface, guys, that coating is making contact and starting to bond. So you can uh, start to wipe off right away and the coating will be left behind. But the, tr the magic is with the transfer solution that I chose, if you get distracted, uh, or if you want to apply to the, uh, a good chunk of the vehicle, maybe the whole front clip, you can come back and start to wipe it off and take your time. So with the first towel here, uh, I'm just, just lightly dragging it along the surface, picking up some of the transfer solution, and I come in with the second towel and buff to perfection. Very easy to wipe off. Can be used in, again, direct sunlight. If you don't have an enclosure or a garage, or if you're not done it, have a sheltered area to work on, you'll be fine. If you are out in direct sunlight, just work it in smaller areas and apply the coating to absolutely all hard surfaces, headlights, taillights, uh, exhaust tips, plastic trim. When it comes to high spots, it's almost hard to leave high spots behind. You would have to be kind of reckless and really in a hurry to leave some behind. If you do, just... Uh, Add some of the coating back on top of that high spot. It will reactivate it so you can level. If it's been there for a couple of hours or maybe the next day, you can use something like Car Pro Essence or Essence Plus. Dab it onto a microfiber and by hand, gently go in circular motions over top of the high spot and it will level without removing completely. Most of the coatings you see advertised and in videos today are SiO2 or have the base as SiO2, maybe mixed in with some titanium or graphene or you name it. This here is strictly Si3 and 4 polysilazane. It has a nitrogen backbone and it would be a rung up on the ladder when it comes to its strength and durability. It has a higher temperature and abrasion threshold. How does it hold up in real world conditions? This vehicle here, we're almost going on a year where this has been coated with blue collar one. This car always sits outside. It's always in the weather. It gets a ton of mileage each day, week, month, and year, and uh, all types of weather. So this hasn't been washed in probably four days or so. It's been through a couple of rainstorms. Uh, we also park it under a tree. And this is what it looks like beforehand. We're going to foam it and we'll wash it and we'll show you what it looks like through each step of the process.
You do not need certification. You do not need special training to use the coating. I made it friendly for the DIY, the driveway detailer. I made it friendly for the professional in a shop setting. And you will get professional results either way. As you can see here, the soap um, is it, it's being fought off the, the surface. It is a, a chemical resistant coating and it uh, is always at work on your vehicle. So let me wash it off and we'll take a look. A lot of the hydrophobics were there before we're washing it, but uh, they will uh, magnify as we clean off the surface, remove traffic film, hard water, and any dirt that has come in contact from three, four days straight of rain. Rinse the residue from the soap thoroughly from the surface and you'll see the hydrophobics storming back. I can also share what works best here in this area for us when it comes to unclogging the coating. If it's traffic film, the built hammer auto foam works well for that. And if it's hard water, the Gion uh, water spot remover missed it on the surface. Uh, both of those together work excellent, will unclog the coating and bring those characteristics back. And it's still rather easy to dry with forced air, either after a rainstorm or the wash process. Definitely in a class by itself when it comes to the results you get for the effort you put into it. It's a very, very easy coating to use, uh, effortless, definitely efficient. It is economical, and now it is on special for you starting now. Happy shopping.